So I smoked since I was 15, so I smoked for a good 30 years. You know, I struggled to walk upstairs. I struggled to, I live in the CBD. I struggled to walk to the supermarket. Like I was puffed when I got there. So I knew my health was deteriorating. Um, so I knew it was time to give up, but didn't, wasn't quite ready yet. Uh, they had the TIS um, Biggest Loser Challenge. Um, so I decided to do that. And my goals were to quit smoking and lose 15 kilos. I can't remember if it was 10 or 15. Uh, that was eight months ago. At the end of the TIS Challenge, the Biggest Loser Challenge, I actually, I'd lost eight kilos, nearly nine kilos, and I'd stopped smoking, so I've still stopped smoking for all that time. But, you know, even even quitting, when you, when you do quit, and you get to a stage where, um, you know, Socially, I would smoke. So people would come over, and I'd go and sit outside, and we'd have we'd talk, and I'd smoke, and I'd get a cuppa, and that's what we do. And you know, when I was nervous, it's like smoke a hundred cigarettes before I get in there, and um, you know, stressed. All those different stages of what you did, and it was they were the hardest getting over. You know, drinking when you drink, you, you smoke. Well, when I drank, I smoked, um, and and finding something finding something else to do when I would normally smoke but now yeah I, I would never never smoke again you know the impact that smoking obviously had on me as a whole you know and and I can see the changes and yeah I feel I feel awesome best thing I ever done I never you know I never thought I ever would I just, when people used to say they you know they quit smoking and I sort of used to get the feeling of being jealous as in Oh shit! I wish I could. You know, I wish I could quit smoking. Um, and the fact that I did it, I just—it's an amazing feeling.